What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another pack review. We are taking a look at what has been a very requested, a highly requested review of the Japanese deluxe national team selection. So there's two selections for, for Japan. There's the first one, which is this one, which we're going to be focusing on today. As you can see there, Japan Deluxe, and these are 100 coins per spin. And then there is also the special pack, which is the team pack where you can buy the entire team for 1500 coins so we'll have this premium pack up next um video but we also have every other video done here england germany argentina brazil and france and we will get japan up quite soon but a lot of people ask me about this one and i i, I think i i can see why when i've been having a look at these players oh need to burp but anyway yeah we've got a couple of players in here that are definitely worth a closer look including Furuhashi, who's an absolute monster and could potentially be a bit of a game changer if you do get him in one of your spins or you get a free spin on him or whatever way you get him. His normal card, his standard card is really good as well. But I'll keep this video short and sweet because as usual, we're not going to focus on every single player. I have trained him out and maxed him out and uh, taking a look at the best ones so we probably will uh, just focus on maybe five of the players um, that are worth it I don't think that this guy Osaka he's not going to be that good like as a center forward he's not tall enough to be an aerial threat he doesn't have enough player skills um, he does have unwavering form which is quite decent but yeah I mean this guy is going to play uh, really really poorly I think with 41 levels you're not going to get that speed and acceleration up if you do you're not going to have finishing if you get those if you focus on those three, you're not going to have dribbling. So yeah, you're caught in every way with this card. He's just that little bit too slow. And I just think he's not worth training up if you do pack him. Similarly with the goalkeeper. Again, look at that reflexes, lads. Even with 39 levels, you're going to have to pump in so many trainer points to get those reflexes up that you're not going to get a reflex uh, stat up over 90. You're just not going to be able to do it unless you're going to leave everything else at the base. So they're the two players that I don't think you should focus on if you do spin them. Um, and also on top of that as well, I would probably say Nakayama, not a bad defender either. He's got 36 levels to go. The one thing I like about him is he has interception. Um, but again, with that inconsistent form, we're not going to really, you know, be able to, uh, like, I don't know, like highlight him too much. I just don't think that he's going to be worth it, man. He doesn't have enough aerial ability either. Like he is a fairly decent player, but there's so many players like out there. I keep saying this in every single thing if you are thinking of spinning uh, like you should only be trying to get one or two of the players so let's start off with Maeda or Maeda I think it's Maeda let me know lads the pronunciation please need to let me know that one but yeah this guy obviously plays for Celtic he's an extremely good player him and uh, Furuhashi are really really good players I think when we take a look at his stats right the thing that draws me to his card is the fact that he does not have unwavering form, he's on D rating, and he has player skills that are kind of lacking. But on top of that, right, as a winger, the only job you have as a winger is to have speed and an introduction that when you introduce him, that he's able to do something different. And over on eFootball DB, when we're looking at here, we've got 80 progression points with 41 levels. You can see that we're going to focus a little bit more on him just being an impact speed sub. That's all. Even though he doesn't have super sub, I do think that he is worth having if you do spin him. I definitely think you should train him up. Training points are so easy to come by now, lads, that you definitely should just be able to train him up quite easily. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 84 balance. I am going to do a video... I say this every video, but I'm going to do a video on talking about the difference between speed and acceleration. A lot of people ask me about that, and I'll go into detail on that. But yeah, he's a fairly good card. I'll keep it short and sweet, but on D rating, you're not going to get much use out of him this week. And then also Haraguchi, who's a center mid. He's a very good player as well. Very decent player. He's got 45 levels to go. You're going to be focusing on his passing. You're going to be focusing on his speed. If you want a fairly decent uh, center midfielder, you don't need to like look the speed. I think for a center mid, you can get away with you can get away with somebody that has you know fairly good acceleration and uh, fairly average speed. If you're playing a center midfielder, the problem where I run into is that. Are you going to really pump in, you know, like 15 stats into his passing? You're not really because you can buy somebody that like at a base level has like 84 low pass and 80 lofted pass and throw a couple into his passing and then you'll have an alternative that costs you barely anything with GP and you've got a way better, more rounded player. Like where this guy kind of excels 
is the fact that you can train him up in a multitude of ways because of so many player points. But at the same time, he's not going to change too much for you on the pitch because he's not good enough defensively or attacking wise. And his speed and his acceleration and stamina are just kind of average for what you need in a centre midfielder. Let's buy Goretzka if you're looking for a world game changing um, uh, centre midfielder. So that is Haraguchi as well, uh, who we have there. Um, and there is stats. Sorry, Les, I thought I had that page up, but there is stats. You're not going to be changing the world with him too much, in my opinion. There are a lot of better options out there than him. Next up, we do have Asano, who's a right winger. Again, don't need to focus too much on him, lads. He's a kind of a dime a dozen because you are going to be getting speed and acceleration there. You have got super sub. I would be just focusing on pure outright, outright speed here. Like, yeah, the dribbling is nice to have that, but I would just be focusing on pure speed and... Uh, ability to just be a super sub when he comes on he does have super sub which does make him kind of like an interesting player to have i definitely think he's worth it if you do get him to train him up he does only have um he does only have standard form but as you can see with his stats when he's maxed out 91 speed 92 acceleration you could even throw that back down a bit if you wanted to get the lower speed down you could throw maybe that back down and then maybe one more into speed or dribbling i would probably focus on acceleration and get that offensive awareness and balance up he's very very good but there is a better option than him there which you'll see in just a second um but first we will focus on right back sakai who again has a lot of a lot of uh, player points to go he's had a couple of versions of this player card out 83 speed 80 acceleration and then his defensive stats are not to be laughed at either very decent you could take them down a little bit you don't need your right back to be a superstar defensively and you could put up the passing or you could put up the dribbling probably focus on dribbling that's to get it into the 70s he's got an unwavering form sliding tackle interception and fighting spirit and he can play right mid or center back as well so a very interesting choice there i think this pack is actually fairly well balanced if you do end up spinning there now the pick of them is probably Fur furihashi right this guy definitely is a game changer lads definitely right he because he doesn't have super sub right that's one thing but he does have a lot of brilliant stats that you need if you are going to be bringing him on now you will be drawn straight away to his form which is e that's a huge problem, I think, for this player. Um, but hopefully he will have a good World Cup and he will be able to actually dominate, you know. So it is going to be very interesting, I think, to see how he performs because he has had a good year. He's had a couple of inconsistent performances, but he does have unwavering form. So that should balance out this card quite a bit. And sorry, lads, I did say that he was going to be in the World Cup, but he's actually not. It's his teammate, uh, Maeda, who's in the World Cup. I forgot about that. But yeah, he is a fairly decent player, centre forward. I wouldn't play him as a centre forward. I would be playing him as a winger. And I'll tell you why, right? His dribbling stats are a little low, right? His dribbling stats are a little low, you'll see here. His dribbling stats are kind of a little low there. But because of his pace um, and his finishing, you can boost that up. If you didn't want to boost up his finishing, you can just literally transfer that to his... Uh, to his his wing play like his dribbling you can bring that up to 82 which is enough i think with the rest of his stats there but yeah i would probably either depending on where you wanted to play him you could play him through the middle as well and you're going to have some insane stats 88 finishing 90 acceleration 88 speed 86 balance and 84 offensive awareness so in hindsight lads i must be kind of yeah i must be losing my mind because i would probably play him as a center forward he's not going to be able to lead the line for you every game but as a as a sub bringing on even though he's not a super sub unwavering form and acceleration and speed tied with the rest of it does make him a very good player so as i said yes he is not going to the world cup he was snubbed for the world cup but yeah he's, he's had a kind of a, a weird all season i suppose um and his play style maybe didn't suit their setup so yeah it's maeda who made the, the world cup squad just to recount on that but yeah that is it lads for the japanese player selection there eight players i would say there's probably two of them that i would highly recommend that would be furihashi and um Maeda who's Maeda who's both kind of play them as wingers or else through the middle so yeah let me know what you guys think I know a lot of people have been asking for that so I will talk to you later lads peace